Hello everyone. This is Mr. Sanjay Gurwar. Once again, welcome back for learning our grammar subject. Dear friends, today we are going to learn another important topic in the grammar subject. The topic name is transformation of sentences. Dear friends, we have studied in the previous chapter what is meant by sentence and the different kinds of sentence a sentence is a group of words that makes sense a sentence is mainly divided into four kinds they are assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence we have studied these all the kinds of sentences with their examples in the previous chapter now dear friends in this lesson we are going to understand how to transform one sentence into another for example if assertive sentence is given then that sentence we can change we can convert into interrogative or exclamatory sentence so here in this lesson we are going to understand the transformation of sentences but before going to understand that let us understand what is meant by transformation of sentence look at the blackboard here changing one type or kind of sentence into some other type or kind is called transformation of sentence in short we can say that changing one kind or type of sentence into another is called transformation of sentence now dear students let us understand changing statements into questions there are particular rules for changing statements into questions or questions into statements but before understanding that we should know what is meant by statement and questions so let's understand first what is statement a sentence which gives us piece of information or states fact is called statement statement or assertive sentence they ends with full stop and the general structure for making statement or the assertive sentence is first we have to use subject then verb verb is followed by the remaining part of the sentence it can be objects the most important thing is here the statement ends with full stop this is the general structure of making statement now let us understand it with the help of example for example i cannot forget his kindness here this is the statement it is in negative form now dear friends let us understand what are questions or interrogative sentences a sentence which ask question it's called an interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence ends with question mark now let us understand how to make the interrogative sentence we know that there are two kinds of interrogative sentences the first one is wh question and the second one is s no doubt question so let's understand first how to make wh question here we can make wh question with the help of such a construction or the formula or the structure first we have to use here wh word after using the wh word we can use here helping verb according to the subject first wh word which are the wh words how who where what why etc then they are followed by the helping verb then here 
subject after the subject we can use the main verb and it is followed by object at last we have to use question mark the wh question ends with question mark now dear students let us understand that structure with the help of example first wh word how helping verb can or it is also called as auxiliary verb after that subject i then main verb forget after that object is kindness and it ends with question mark in this way we can make the best question now let us understand how to form a s no type of question this is not type of question can be formed with the help of such a formula or the structure first we have to use helping verbs you know that there are the helping verbs so according to the subject we can use the helping verb such as amis are was where have has had do does did can could may might will would shall should etc so such a auxiliary verbs or the helping verbs first we have to use and after that subject after using helping verb subject main verb object and this also ends with question mark let's understand it with the help of example here first helping verb can subject i forget main verb is kindness it's an object and this as no type of question is also ends with the question mark now dear friends let us understand some more rules of changing statements into questions or vice versa the first important rule is that while changing statements into questions or questions into statements the affirmative sentence changes into negative or negative sentence changes into affirmative let's understand it with the help of these examples here first example it is foolish to waste time this is a statement it is affirmative while changing it into the question it will become negative here let us make a s no type of question first we have to use the helping verb here the helping verb after that the subject it now we have to make it negative question so here not for making the negative sentence we have to use not so here after subject not then remaining part of the sentence that is foolish to waste time and the sentence ends with the question mark in this way we can write answer is it not foolish to waste time this is the question it is in negative form next example there is no one who likes a dishonest man answer here this statement is negative no one here it shows that it is in negative form it has a negative sense so while changing it in the question it will change into positive that is affirmative so the answer is here first the helping verb is there subject instead of no one here there is change anyone so is there anyone who likes a dishonest man and this also ends with the question mark in this way we can change statements into questions next rule we can use ever instead of never here for example they can never be forgotten here instead of never we can use here ever so here can they ever be forgotten here in this sentence there is a change instead of never ever is made now let's see the next rule instead of one no one everyone everybody or other such words we can use who here instead of such words we can use who for making a wh question examples 
one cannot change the inevitable this is a negative statement let's change it into the question here double h question it begins with the double h word who who can change the inevitable instead of one here who is use it ends with the question mark next example no one knows what will happen next answer instead of no one here who is used so the answer is like this who knows what will happen next now dear friends let's understand how to change or how to convert statements into exclamatory sentences first let us understand what is meant by exclamatory sentence a sentence which expresses sudden strong feelings or emotions such as joy sorrow excitement etc is called an exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence ends with exclamatory mark now let's learn what is the general formula or the structure that we can use for making exclamatory sentence look at the blackboard here first for making exclamatory sentence we have to use the words like what or how what or how any one word we have to use in the beginning for making the exclamatory sentence what this word is used when there is a or an given in the statement and if a or an is not given in the statement then we can use how for making the exclamatory sentence after then we can use adjectives or the adverb those are used in the given statement after that subject of that statement subject is followed by the verb that there can be the main verb or the helping verb and the most important thing the sentence ends with exclamatory mark now let us understand this structure or the formula it is a general structure now let us understand it with the help of example first example that man looks extremely old example first how here how this word is used because in this given statement that man looks extremely old there is no a or an that's why how this word is used after that how the adjective is used here old then that man subject here after that there is the verb and it the exclamatory sentence ends with the exclamation mark in this way we can write the answer how old that man looks here if in the given statement the words like the extremely very if such a adverbs are given that we have to omit while changing that statement into the exclamatory sentence next example they have a very beautiful garden answer here it begins with what because in the given statement there is a so here what after that adjective a beautiful then garden so after that there is the subject they they is followed by have the verb and it also ends with exclamation mark in this way we can write the answer dear students here this is the general structure and according to that we can change the given statement into the exclamatory sentence now once again 
let us understand this with the help of some more examples first you are very brave answer first how because there is no a or an in the given statement so first how then adjective brave after adjective subject verb and it ends with exclamation mark exclamatory mark so in this way we can write answer how brave you are next example we had a fine journey answer what a fine journey we had here what this word is used because there is a given in the statement so what after that a fine journey then subject and verb the same sentence ends with the exclamatory mark dear students in this way we can change statements into exclamatory sentence dear students in this way in this video we have completed learning how to transform or how to change one kind of sentence into another for example we learn how to change statements into questions without changing their meaning we also understood how to convert or how to change statements into exclamatory sentences thank you